What is going on everyone? It's Justin here and it is almost time to go back to school and as you guys might know, each year we do like a full coverage of back to school videos, whether it is budget tech, best tech. And for this year, we also did a setup makeover and bedroom makeover and in almost all the videos, we're also giving some of the stuff away for you guys who are starting your school year because this year is definitely gonna be a little bit different and I think tech is gonna be more important than ever before. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video because those back to school videos are coming very soon. So this right here is the Dual Link, and I first saw it a few months ago in its very early stages, and I thought it was a really cool product. It was definitely a little bit unique and something that we haven't seen before, but combines a few different areas of audio that is relatively popular and has really grown over the past couple years, especially in the area of truly wireless earbuds. So a huge thanks to Dual Link for reaching out and sponsoring this video because I have actually wanted to test this product out, and I feel like it really does solve a lot of different things with multiple features. So in the market right now, there's a few prominent names in each category that at least match the form factor of the Dual Link. You've got the Bose SoundLink Mini that comes in at a price of about $80 and it has good sound quality. It is very portable and as you can see in terms of size, it is pretty much the same. The most popular earbud in the truly wireless space is the Apple AirPods and this right here comes in at a price of just under $150 for the one without noise cancellation and the AirPods Pro with noise cancellation comes in at a price of over $200. But the thing about these is that they do one thing and although they do it very well, you kind of have to pick one or the other or you have to buy both and by the time you add up the price, you're probably gonna be spending like between $150 to $200 and up. So what's nice about the Dual Link is that it actually combines the best of both worlds. You have a Bluetooth speaker as well as a stereo speaker and also when you break it apart like a biscuit, you also have your truly wireless earbuds that are all built into one. And they actually work together quite nicely, so in total you have three different features that can work seamlessly. You can use it as a singular speaker and have it just work as a sound link or you could also break it apart and use it as a stereo pair and you can actually have these up to 16 feet apart and there's many ways you can use that. Or you can also take out the earbuds themselves and pop it into the ear and there you have a truly wireless earbud that is allowing you to listen to music and when you're ready to use it as a Bluetooth speaker again, just throw them back here to charge and close it up back together like this and you're good to go. I think what is also really cool though is that these features are not mutually exclusive. You can go ahead and play some music on here and when you break it apart, it will continue to play in the stereo setting. But once you take out the wireless earbuds, it will continue to play the music seamlessly and it switches in less than a second. So when it comes to the price point, they have a super early bird at $79 and a early bird at $89, but as of now, those are actually sold out. So the price to pre-order is $99, but if you guys go ahead and use the coupon code down below with the link, then you can get $10 off. And for under hundred bucks, you have a three-in-one speaker as well as a truly wireless earbud that is all built into one capsule. And I think it is the perfect piece of student tech. So diving deeper into each feature and talking about how it performs, when it comes to the speaker itself and using it as a singular unit, the overall sound quality is actually quite good. It isn't gonna be as loud as a dedicated speaker just because it has the hollowed inside for your wireless earbuds, but in terms of like actual sound and trying to fill up a dorm room or a small space, it is able to get the job done. The sound quality is decent, the bass is there, but definitely not the loudest, but I found that the treble and stereo separation was also really good and I was actually quite impressed because like anyone, when you look at a speaker that has three different features, including the wireless earbuds, you kind of wonder if it's gonna be good at any singular category. I think one underrated use case though is as a stereo pair. So say you have your iPad or laptop in the middle, you can have it connected to the speaker and just have one on each side. You can kind of place it on a 45 degree angle just next to the side. And with that, you're able to get like that left and right separation and essentially build sort of like a surround set that is very portable and affordable. I personally found that it sounded really good, but once again, it wasn't the loudest setup out there, but as like a personal setup, it is definitely enough. In order to ensure you don't lose one side or lose the wireless earbuds, just go ahead and use this loop. And it also has like this little locking notch, which I really like. And just tie like a pretty typical loop like that and you're good to go. And just tie this on the carabiner to your backpack or throw it in your bag and you've got yourself an entire setup. 
These are actually all held together by magnets and a little bit of a groove. And the magnets are not the strongest out there, but I think it's intended to be like that because with this loop, they're not gonna like separate or anything. Um, but if you wanna quickly change the feature or take out your earbuds, you can do so. In terms of the design, I also really like the finish. You have the button on each side to use them separately. You also have your USB type C port on the bottom, which is always nice to see, as well as a light indicator on each side here. And I really like this navy blue specifically, as well as the soft touch finish throughout. And they've also added like some small feet so that it doesn't vibrate on the entire surface that you're putting it on. So just in general, very well thought out. It also has like this really nice fabric finish on the front and it just looks very seamless. So now onto the third feature, and that is as a truly wireless earbud. And honestly, I didn't expect much out of the wireless earbud portion just because it is something that is built in and almost feels like an extra feature. I've definitely tried out my fair share of wireless earbuds, including the cheap ones on Amazon, as well as the Louis Vuitton ones that you guys might have seen. The Apple AirPods, of course, are ones that I use quite regularly, as well as the Google Pixel Buds and the Samsung Galaxy Buds. And nowadays, I have to say, I'm very impressed by the sound quality in a truly wireless wireless earbud, but after trying these on, I can tell you that the sound quality was actually quite decent. The build quality is made out of plastic and they're definitely not the smallest out there, but I wouldn't say they're bulky either. They still fit in the ear quite nice and they have like a silicone matching ear tip on the end, as well as a bit of a soft touch liner that goes around the middle and hooks into the ear quite nicely. Obviously comfort is gonna be subjective depending on who's gonna be using them, but for my ears in particular, they actually fit quite nicely. And in terms of weight, one thing that I noticed outside of Apple AirPods is that they're quite heavy, but these one right here, because they are made out of plastic, they're actually extremely extremely light and here's a look at the weight. So when it comes to sound quality, I will say they definitely sound better than they look. I felt like a stereo soundstage, the trebles were really good, the bass was definitely there, and I would say even if they were sold on their own just as truly wireless earbuds at around $79, they would actually still be very much worth the money. The Truly Wireless Earbud also has AI noise cancellation, which is pretty impressive for something that is in this kind of setup. And it actually works quite well. Nothing too crazy like active noise cancellation, but it is definitely better than nothing. And when you look at something like the Apple AirPods at its starter price point, you don't even have any sort of noise cancellation at all. I didn't have any sort of connectivity issues at all. And I just like the fact that you're able to pop them back in and have the music continuously play on the speakers themselves within less than a second. When it comes to battery life, you can expect the earbuds to last about four and a half hours. And in terms of the speaker itself, it lasts about six hours. But if you just use the speakers to charge the earbuds, it gives you about eight and a half to nine hours of additional use. And considering that is an all-in-one, I think that is very respectable. One thing that I also noticed is that they're very light. This whole unit right here is 200 grams, which is around the same weight as my smartphone. So because of the versatility and the multiple features that are built all in one, the use cases are essentially limitless. It has an IP54 rating, so you can use this next to the water and it is preventative of like splashes. It definitely isn't waterproof or water resistant because it does have a lot of moving parts to it. So that is obviously very hard to do. Um, but if you wanna have this next to the pool and play some music, you can do so. You can also just use it for like a party speaker or if you're just at a friend's house. If you're like sitting down and eating dinner and want a multimedia setup, you can also just break it apart and have one on each side with your iPad in the middle. And also obviously the wireless earbud portion you can use in the gym or on the bus or just walking around town. You can think of as many ideas as you want and with this entire unit and its three features, you are covered. To set it up out of the box, you can either break it apart to turn it on. You can also press the button for three seconds as there is a button on each side. And by holding it for 10 seconds, the Bluetooth pairing will start. And from then you're connected to your device. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below as to what you think, and I'll see you all in the next video.